In 2021, air pollution accounted for 8.1 million deaths. That is more than one in eight deaths worldwide. The State of Global Air 2024 report by the U.S.-based Health Effects Institute states that with a population over one billion, India has a large disease burden associated with air pollution. India has recorded 2.1 million deaths due to air pollution in 2021. To combat this issue, the Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change launched the National Clean Air Program in January 2019 to improve the air quality in 131 cities designated as non-attainment cities. With two years remaining for the current program to end, the CSC analysis highlights that the next phase of reforms requires an approach that makes PM 2.5 the benchmark for performance-linked funding, improve metrics to prioritize combustion sources, ties funding to sectoral targets, and establishes stronger institutional mechanisms. and capacity for planning and implementation in cities Hi I'm Jyoti working as a research associate in clean air and sustainable mobility team at Center for Science and Environment The National Clean Air Program is the first ever effort in the country to form a national framework for air quality management with a time bound reduction target and performance linked funding the aim was to lower the concentration of particulate matter in 131 non attainment cities by up to 40% by 2025 to 26 from the 2019 level non attainment cities are those which consistently show poor air quality than the national ambient air quality standards prescribed by central pollution control board under ncap 82 cities have been set targets to reduce PM10 levels by 3 to 15% from 2021 to 26, aiming for a 40% reduction by 2026. Additionally, 49 cities under 15th Finance Commission have been assigned annual targets to reduce PM10 levels by 15% and increase good air quality days that AQI should be below 200. NCAP requires cities to demonstrate improvement in PM10 levels in order to access the funds. The methodology for assessing the performance of 131 cities has evolved over time, making it challenging to establish a consistent link between them. The spotlight therefore is on refining the metrics for assessing city performance. The 131 non-attainment cities receive funding from various sources. 82 cities are supported by the NCAP, and 49 cities are funded by the 15th Finance Commission. Despite receiving substantial funds, only 64% of rupees 10,566 crore has been utilized. As on 3rd May 2024, notably 49 cities under 15th Finance Commission have better utilization rates than 82 NCAP cities. Most of the funds have been used for road dust mitigation, with less allocated to controlling emissions from industries, vehicles, and biomass burning. Currently, the performance assessment. For 82 NCAP cities is determined by the reduction in PM10 levels, while 49 cities under the 15th Finance Commission are evaluated with an additional criterion introduced for improvement in good air quality days. Air quality should be below 200 compared to the previous year. There is yet another parallel program of Swachh Vayu Sarvekshan. introduced by the MOFCC in 2022 to rank cities based on the level of policy measures implemented SVS assigned only 2.5% weight to improving PM10 concentration while 82 NCAP and 49th 15th finance cities 
gave this criteria full attention. However, assigning a mere 2.5 percent weight to PM concentration, a key target of the program, undermines its core objectives. Under the different programmatic approaches of NCAP, 15th Finance, and SVS, the cities are judged based on different metrics. However, it becomes challenging to correlate the air quality improvement in one city and level of actions in others. Hence, there is no clear correlation between policy implementation and PM10 improvement. Dust management taking major share of funding, that is 64%. However, there is a need for a more balanced funding approach under NCAP that extends beyond mere dust control. India's flagship clean air program must move beyond PM10 with PM2.5 as the benchmark for performance linked funding. As PM2.5 is a more relevant health indicator for assessing improvements in air quality. City performance assessment metrics are mismatched, leading to inconsistent rankings. Cities that outperform in PM10 reduction under NCAP, 15th Finance Commission often score lower in SVS and vice versa. It is crucial to develop robust new metrics with a focus on PM2.5 to ensure a more accurate and fair assessment of city efforts and progress in improving air quality. The current focus on transport emissions is inadequate. Therefore, transport indicators should be aligned with central government policies to ensure that targets and design principles are explicitly integrated. Limited transparency on industry and power plant actions necessitates a robust tracking mechanism to ensure compliance with technology and energy transformation regulations. Cities cannot achieve their clean air goals only through local measures. Regional level airshed management approach is necessary to mitigate the impact of transboundary pollution. Enhanced sectoral funding strategies for streamlined action on clean technologies, fuels, green infrastructure and urban design solutions. Implement polluter pay principles for designing taxes, pricing policy and cess for additional revenue to create dedicated funds for targeted action. City-state central coordination is needed for policy development to support planning and implementation in each sector. Thus, the CSC analysis underscores the urgent need for reforms in the NCAP to ensure its goals are effectively achieved. The next phase of reforms must prioritize concrete action in crucial sectors, transport, industry, and the burning of waste and fuels to ensure effective implementation at scale across all the regions.